Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Cedric and I'm one of the faces behind Kerbals.io um, and we're currently looking at uh, the public website and probably also the place where you get in touch with Kerbals.io for the first time. So Kerbals.io is a video surveillance and a video analytics solution for everyone, which means that if you're an end consumer and you want to protect your home, your family, that's fine. Or if you're an enterprise and you have a large scale uh, video surveillance deployment with hundreds of cameras, thousands of cameras, then uh, you also find um, a good solution for that, I would say. So where did this all start? It started eight years ago uh, with, with a concept that we call a Kerberos agent, or Kerberos open source. And what it actually is, it's uh, some kind of binary in which you can install in different forms that you can connect to a camera, an IP camera, a USB camera, a Raspberry Pi camera, it doesn't matter. Crucial thing here is that it's open source and that's really the, the beauty of this project is that it's community driven. Uh, we received a lot of great feedback over the years, people who con contributed it, uh, forks, pull requests, um, you name it. So uh, all the credits go really to the community and this is what the entire Kerberos ecosystem is uh, relying on. So if you're running a Kerberos agent at your home or in a highly secure enterprise, this will be open source. So once you get into more scalable and you want to benefit from a distributed video surveillance or video analytics solution, then we have something that we call Kerberos Enterprise. So it builds further on the concept of the agent and uh, we add additional components like Kerberos Vault and Kerberos Hub. Why would you do that? Is because as an enterprise, you want to manage your own storage, you want to bring your own storage, you want to uh, rely on uh, concepts like Kubernetes or container orchestration. You want to bring your own machine learning models. You want to have high resolution live streaming and the list goes on. I will not discuss that during this video. We'll create other videos uh, regarding that. But that actually typically what it can do. So it can uh, support both you as an end consumer or as an enterprise with various use cases. So um, on the public website, you will find all the different products and a short explanation of what it can do, what it cannot do. And then once you uh, want to try it out, then of course we have our documentation website. So in here, everything is illustrated that you need to know, um, going from the different deployments or the recommended deployments that we are uh, supporting. And then also uh, the different installation uh, installations for example you can install uh, Kerberos factory into the cloud or an edge deployment and then you can follow the different instructions so if there's not if you cannot find any uh, anything else or you're looking for some more information or really want to know what's going on then uh, you can always join our github so this is where all the developments are going into um, for example, for the agent, you will find the source code you can contribute. And uh, for example, uh, you'll find the roadmap. So where we prioritize the different elements and uh, where you can provide additional feedback. So that can be done here. Um, examples, how to connect to uh, your GPUs or make your GPUs or your machine learning models more scalable using Kerberos Vault. So a lot of stuff to find here. But I would say like, if you want to get started, just look at the different products, go and read a little bit on the documentation websites, check out our GitHub, and we'll also create more and more videos so that we uh, can support you or share with you our, our vision and your ideas. So my name is Cedric, I'm one of the faces behind Kerbals.io, and I would love to meet you in the future in our community, or if you have any questions, and uh, feel free to drop a question. Bye-bye, see you.